It's only February, and it's already been a banner year for Christine Sinclair. She set an astonishing record. She scored the most goals in international soccer, 185. No woman or man has scored more. She's played professionally for 20 years now and is going to her fourth Olympics. Canada's women's soccer team is qualified for Tokyo 2020. For now, Sinclair is back home in British Columbia, meeting fans and being celebrated for her achievements. I met Sinclair in Vancouver, and she's the consummate Canadian, understated, modest, but with steely resolve to win. I started by asking her about what it feels like to be an international sports superstar. I think it's a testament to like the longevity of my career and how I've been able to adapt with the game. Uh, but honestly, just most excited that we're going to another Olympics and getting a shot at the podium. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you always have your eye on is the next thing rather than, I mean, I know you, yeah. you were proud and it showed when you got that goal <laughs> and set the record. Sinclair has done it! But it's not like you're over the top excited about it, right? Because you're always looking ahead. Yeah, you know, I've never played soccer just for the goals. Um, you know, I always say I chose a team sport for a reason, just trying to achieve something together. You know, when people watch you play, they try to figure out what's going on in your head. What do you call that scorer's instinct you have to be at the front of the net at the right time? Um... I'm not sure. I think, like, I get asked that quite a bit. I, I honestly think I was born with it. I understand the game. I think I can read it pretty well on the pitch. And then in front of goal, I, yeah, I get asked, what goes on in your mind? It's absolutely nothing. It's just calm and most times. And yeah, I think composed. So you uh, started when you were four. You've been at this international level for what 20 years yeah mm -hmm. is there ever a time uh, when you score a goal that there's less sparkle to it less excitement less <laughs> of course <laughs> <laughs> I mean because I we play in I mean the women's game isn't quite where the men's game is mm -hmm. yet and so we've played in some games and some stadiums where there's like five people there and in the middle of nowhere. It's just not the same as scoring in front of like 50,000 right. fans. Well, let me ask you about the women's game. How much has it changed in the 20 years that you've been in it? Night and day. Yeah. You know, when I first joined the national team, no one, no one cared. Um, there weren't many opportunities for, for female soccer players around the world. And now you have players completely skipping university to go play pro. And then just at the international stage, I mean, I think you saw it at last, last year's World Cup. It's, uh, it's just growing, it's, it's, and this is just the start. And you've been a key part of that, right? I don't know, I've just played. You've just played, but you are, <laughs> you know what you are to so many young women, and, and guys too, and boys play, right? You are like the crown jewel. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool to see, like, you're playing at home, and there's like young boys wearing your jersey. To be able to see young, the youngsters, like, being able to dream of representing their country, going to Olympics, going to World Cups. Um, I mean, that's how it started for me. What's missing from the women's game? What would you like to see? Where would you like to see it go from here? Mm. Equal the men. Every chance that a guy gets, I want a girl to get. We're moving in the right direction, but like at a very slow pace. Mm. And uh, are you one of these people who doesn't want to jinx it by saying what your goal is in Tokyo? or? Do you have a goal in mind? We're going with podium this time. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we're sick of bronze, so <laughs> people can take what they want from that. 